This video is for support only. TOLUS recommends all users read the instructions prior to use. This is the TOLUS repositioning sling. It is used for repositioning a patient in the bed, rolling a patient from side to side, lateral transfers to another surface, as well as lifting someone from the floor. The repositioning sling comes in several different materials, single patient use disposable, solid and mesh washable reusable, and staff check washable, which is not shown. It is available in regular, bariatric, and elite bariatric sizes, ranging from 600 to 1,000 pound capacities. The label clearly indicates the type, size, and safe working load of the sling. Make sure the label of the sling is at the head of the bed and facing away from the patient. The repositioning sling is available with elastic corner straps used to secure the sling to the bed and reduce wrinkling of the sling under the patient. There are five straps on each side of the sling, each with different colored loop combinations and varying lengths. Make sure that the straps are not folded under the patient as this could cause skin breakdown. Note the color of the second to last loop of the straps. Red at the head, then two yellow and two green denoting a red light which is important when hooking up the sling to the lift. Place the repositioning sling by log rolling the patient, being careful that the straps of the sling do not rub against the patient. The repositioning sling can be used with a TOLO ceiling lift or mobile lift. Place the spreader bar over the patient's torso perpendicular to the patient's shoulders. Also, be sure the patient's arms are placed across their chest instead of on their side. Now you are ready to hook up the sling to the spreader bar. Always start at the foot of the sling when hooking it up to the spreader bar. Hook the green colored loops to the foot end of the spreader bar hooks. Then hook the yellow loops to the head end of the spreader bar hooks as shown. Then hook the red loop of the last strap at the head of the same hook as the yellow ones. Now you can see how the red light colored loops are used. Pushing the up button on the handheld pinnet, raise the patient up 1-2 to two inches off the surface, then stop and check to make sure all the straps are hooked correctly on each side. Also, check the placement of the patient's neck, making sure the neck is not hyperflexed and occluding the airway of the patient, especially if trached or on a ventilator. Once cleared, continue raising the patient up just enough to clear the surface. To reposition the patient up in bed, simply bring the patient towards the head of the bed. If the patient needs to be offloaded to one side, you may need to bring the patient slightly over to one side of the bed to allow room for the log roll. Lower the patient down on the bed and disconnect all the straps from the spreader bar hooks, starting at the head and working down towards the feet. To offload the patient to one side by log rolling, first be sure that the bed rail is up on the side the patient is rolling towards. Then hook up the sling by using only the red loops of the other side. Be sure to hook the red loops to the middle hook of the spreader bar to keep the bar balanced. Raise the patient up enough to tuck a pillow or wedge behind the patient to keep the patient in side lying. By using the sling in the same manner, a caregiver can also assess the patient's skin by bringing the patient over more into the side lying position, being careful not to roll the patient too far over. Then with the help of a second caregiver holding the patient in the side lying position, lower the sling down and assess the skin. Once the task is complete, lower the lift down in order to disconnect the sling from the spreader bars as shown. Be sure to straighten out the sling, removing any wrinkles under the patient and make sure there are no straps laying under the patient. Finally, raise the bed rail for safety if needed. 
To laterally transfer a patient to another surface, place the bed or stretcher next to the bed with the rails down on both beds. Raise the patient up and slide the patient over to the intended surface. If there is not enough space in the room to have two beds, simply lift up the patient off the surface and take the first bed out of the room and bring the second bed in. But be sure someone stays with the patient while the beds are being switched out.